All right. So this is step seven on the whiteboard there. Flush, cut, fret ends, and then ask MM, that's me, to bevel or chamfer the fret ends. So one side you should have um, already nipped off flush, but now we've got the other side. Please do this over a garbage can. There's a big one here, there's a big one over by the sink where you wash up, and then there's a few small ones around, but we don't want these. <laughs> there I go. Right onto the floor. We don't want these little bits of metal uh, floating around the shop because they could ruin someone's woodworking project, like someone's working on a guitar or something. And don't forget, some of you are tempted to go that way, and that can actually cause the fret to pop out of the slot. So make sure you're going this way when you're whenever you're nipping frets. I know some of you probably think it doesn't matter, but it really does. It's really important. Okay. That's that. Then the next step, you're just gonna ask me to do it for you over here at the big belt sander. So right now these are sharp and uncomfortable. So if you were to play this, that would be kind of cutting your, literally some of you, it would literally cut your skin and you would bleed every time you played it. So we need to do something about those fret ends. The first step is we're just gonna bevel or chamfer both edges and that will help. And then later next week, I'm gonna teach you a technique to uh, roll the fret ends with this little file and make them really comfortable. Stuck. So we're going to go from that laser engraved line. We're just going to go corner to corner to find our center. And small X. And corner to corner. Okay. Um, and then, and all, you could drill your hole for your tuning machine, um, just dead center, just like that. But for those of you that are perfectionists, it will be a little bit better installation if we go just to the left, just like about an eighth of an inch. And so we want it to be centered this way, but just off center ever so slightly to the left push and twist so that's what you're looking for just you want your dimple to be an eighth of an inch left for you perfectionists for you for those of you that just want to have a playable canjo center will work fine it's just that's a little bit better okay put our ruler away and then we're going to go to the drill press drill that 
So this is uh, step eight, mark and drill hole for tuning machine. It's called a machine because it's got two gears, a worm gear and a crown gear, and then that's uh, that post, or technically it's a capstan, and so we have to drill a hole for that to come out through the top. So this one, actually I drilled this one dead center, and you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a slight bend of that string when it's coming through the slot on the screw. Not a big deal, it works fine, but... That's why I'm saying to cheat that over to the left an eighth of an inch and it will be even better. Alright, go in first, go in there and then get up a better angle of what we're going to do. So this is the drill press you need to use, this is the drill bit you need to use. And you want to clamp this Device. Not super tight because you don't want to dent the wood or crush it. Um, and make sure your backer board is in position as well. And then with this size drill bit, you can probably use that laser. And remember, I'm going for that dimple that I put that I used the awl for and not the X. So this should be tight enough. center hole. Well, that should work awesome. And then, uh, the, oh, there's another step that, oh, you don't have to do right now. I just, I need to order. I'm going to add that as part of step eight. That could be eight B. You'll need me to uh, make this cut for you on the bandsaw. So, back here so you can see what's up. So I'll, I'll do this for you as well. And if you're wondering why, it's because the the post of the tuning machine isn't quite long enough to go through it as is. So what in the world are you doing now? You see that? Boom, breaks right off. Now, you will need to sand that so it's prettier because this face, of course, is very rough from the bandsaw. And then you want to put some kind of little chamfer on that just so, just carefully sand that. And then um, start, I, I'll try to help you get this started because you want this thing to be super comfortable to hold it and play it. Um, we'll talk about the fret ends next week, so I'll, I'll show you how to use this file to make those comfortable. But for right now, I want you to start working on the wood. You should round the top of that, so you know if you bump into it, it doesn't hurt, so that should be rolled. And then these corners should really be rolled, um, so that would be a fillet generally. So I'll, I'll put. I'll put like a starter chamfer with the belt sander for you, but you're going to want to roll all those edges. Um, and right now these don't feel good, but the, the file will fix that later. Um, but you want to sand this face. You're going to want to round that. You're going to want to round all this. So just make it super comfortable to hold. So that's through step. Oh, and then... Um, Get step nine, I'm gonna have you guys laser engrave your name on the bottom. It's probably somewhere like in the middle. I'll have you laser engrave your name on the bottom. Roll all corners, that's what I was talking about. So it's it's a soft edge, comfortable to hold. And for step eight, I'm now gonna add the um, that little bandsaw cut. So I'll just do that for you. Okay, okay, okay. All right, 
Thanks. I'm going to turn it off.